if there's anybody that's Nigerians and ang are angry at is the INEC chairman. Is the INEC chairman because before you could see Jack Robinson, people will tell you, oh, the problems that uh, Nigerians are encountering is as a result of uh, the job that the uh, INEC chairman did. Of course, those who are benefiting from this whole thing, they will tell you it is a lie. It is not true. Your candidate failed. That is the reason why you are saying what you are saying. But unfortunately, those who claimed that voted for Tinumbu as well, voted for APC, they are all being served breakfast. They don't serve them wutu wutu. Yes, sir. They don't chop wutu wutu. Recently, we learned that uh, one of the APC chieftains, whether he's a chairman or so, in one of these northern states, when he, he was trying to rule out the achievements of Tinumbu, <laughs> and people got angry that, are you for it? Of course, he got uh, the, the response from the people, and he's not, his story is not going to be the same. Like I always say, that uh, those who are affected will have a better story to tell. So I'm sure that man is going to be having, it will be, be cooling off, because the viral picture, you know, the picture went viral uh, some days ago, even to yesterday. It went viral. He was trying to tell Nigerians that he has done this, he has done that. And when you see some people defending these governments on national TV, you begin to wonder, are you guys for real? Are you guys for real? You know that uh, these guys are just something else. So, Mahmoud House or Mahmoud's uh, residence is where the protesters are targeting now. You know that uh, one of the House of Rape as well, one of the House of Rape members as well was uh, the House got burnt and all all these uh, people who installed in Umbuna, they are all afraid. And don't forget that uh, there's a statement made by um, one uh, chieftain in Lagos, um, what is a political uh, figure in, in, in Lagos, Gbadamoshi, yeah, Tundi Gbadamoshi, yeah, Tundi Gbadamoshi, and when he said, oh, target a uh, the houses of all these uh, APC supporters, this and this and that. Go there, go and go and go and teach them lesson. Yes, go and teach them lesson. And before we could say Jack Robinson, a lot of them started running. Of course, they tried to deny it. But recently, we saw that uh, if uh, Andy Uba, Z Andy Uba, Z Andy Uba, one of the Ubas, okay, Chris U uh, uh, Uba, not Uba, yeah, Chris Uba, when he had problem in the UK. And I was asking, okay, this is one of the people that uh, left uh, the show of Nigeria. When at the mention of uh, the protest that was supposed to commence on the face, of course, uh, when he got there, he met his own Waterloo. So that is just it. So the INEC chairman is not even, he's not uh, having rest of mind. Because I think uh, there was a time he came out and said, uh, people are blaming him, this and this, and I tried to justify himself. Just like uh, Mili Kiyari, the NMPC, NMPC AG, uh, MD. Now he's coming out to say that uh, oh, there are there are lots of allegations, a lot of mis uh, conception conceptions about him. This and this and that. That he's ready to talk when the time comes. All of those uh, cock and bull stories. Of course, he's beginning to cry. So also the INEC chairman came out and said people are saying all manner of things. That sometime there was a time to last. Sometime last year, we had lad that uh, they went to his house and got uh, in his house got burnt. And they came out and said it was not true. But I know, I know those who are involved in all these uh, shenanigans, their conscience will never rest. Hmm? Their mind no go rest. How come one a Their mind no go rest. So there is no doubt all of them are afraid. They are really, really afraid. And the worst part of it is that, you know, these politicians, I always say, especially Nigerian politicians, no matter what happens to their fellow politicians, they don't learn lesson. They always believe that they have a, the technical know-how to go about things or other ways, ways to go about things that are, oh, maybe the person was not smart enough. And they would now use that to have a kind of defense on their, uh, you know, within them. But most of the time, what you are expecting might not be the way it will come. What you don't even expect is what will happen. The only good thing is that if you are doing the right thing, yes, you can be rest assured that uh, karma karma will be will smile on you but whether negatively or positively because you are doing the right thing but in as much you are doing the wrong thing and you think uh, you are smart there's a way you are going to escape all these things it's not going to work it will not work the best thing is just to make sure that uh, your hands are clean all of them are running tikatika 
Tika Tika now. Today is the grand finale of uh, the protest that started uh, 10 days ago. And there is going to be a turn, turn around. And for the fact that it's going to end today, that does not give these uh, politicians that kind of a, uh, how will I put it, that uh, confidence that, eh, no be protest, they don't do protest. I think at uh, this period, they told you, they gave you, um, they informed you before now. Oh, so, 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 so they month, a month uh, notice. So, so, so they were going to go on this and that, and go on, on protest. And they tried all their best to just stop them, but they couldn't. Unfortunately, a lot of people lost uh, their lives, and people begin to ask, to so what end is this? Then don't complain after some people have lost their lives. Definitely, uh, like one lawyer said, that when you talk about protest, it's not going to, it's not going to come with uh, any form of comfort. There's going to be a, a discomfort. But one thing again is that after this whole thing, some people now be saying, eh, why did they protest? But one thing is sure, the problem is still there. The reality will, con- will now set on you. They will not, you will not be looking for people who are going to be talking. So everybody, if you think that uh, those who have come out to protest, that it's as a result of anything, they will keep quiet. Then we'll see how it goes again. The same set of people will start um, complaining here and there that, ah, this oh, this and that. Oh, now, where is 1,000 Naira plus? Sometime last week I heard it was a 1,003. Of course, it's, it's, when, if it is 1,000 in town now, yes, be rest assured it will be 1,500 in all those uh, remote areas. So, like play, like play, from 700, 600, you don't eat and eat on the 900, that'd be 1000 now. Kudos. Because Tinubu is a diamond on, I'm not going to change it, I'm not going to do this and that, it still remains the same. So, all of you who are jubilating, who are analyzing, I don't even know where you're getting your own money from, I don't know where you're getting your own uh, fuel for, or where you buy your things, where you're, whether you have a different market. Yes. <laughs> so, Mahmoud Yakubu, uh, there's a, a great panic. Very great one in his domain now. Like I said, if your conscience is clear that you know you have done the right thing, so be it. But if not, the wicked shall never have peace. So guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this.